Cortez IQ software lets you fully synchronize the RGB lighting on all of your compatible devices, as well as monitor performance and keep an eye on things like temperatures by setting custom lighting effects to inform you if your temperatures start running high and creating automated fan curves to adjust fan speeds. And now there's a brand new version, IQ4, which not only gives IQ a new look, but also adds some new features to improve your experience. Now, the first thing that you'll notice once you've installed the latest version is the clean and intuitive look. It's really simple and easy to use, so you can sync all of your lighting in moments and have full visibility over performance. Corsair have also integrated some tutorials along with a help section and a full playlist of YouTube videos to help you set up your devices, which are really clear and helpful. And I'm going to show you the new look now and also how it works. So as you can see here, I've got a 3XS PC and the IQ software is open. On the homepage here, you can see the default profile and you can see all of the components and the peripherals that the software will control. And it's not just Corsair. We've got an Asus motherboard and GPU, as you can see, then Corsair memory, cooler and fans, as well as these lighting towers. And we've also got all of these Corsair peripherals. We've got a keyboard, headset, and even the mouse mat has some RGB on it. So if we take a look now at the home page, you'll see here that it says Scenes. Now, Scenes is the option that you'd use for syncing lighting, color, and animation, which, if you've used previous versions, this has replaced the instant lighting function that you may already be familiar with. With Scenes, you can set a static color or one of the lighting effects that will sync across all IQ-supported devices. It's as easy to change as just clicking on one of the ones here. We've got a number of presets here. I've clicked on Scan Blue, we'll do Rain. Corsair blue, yellow, red, and as you can see, everything changed instantly. Or of course, you have the option to custom make your own by going up here. Next to scenes, there's a plus button, click on that, go across to custom, and then you need to give it a new name. So we'll call this profile one. And let's choose color shift. And then from here, you choose the different colors that you want. So let's do a pink to a yellow, for example, and then you can choose the speed on this particular one. Each of the different effects will have slightly different things that you can choose from. You can either have it really slow, let's put it up fast, and create, and there you go. That will cycle through from pink to yellow as we told it to. Well, if there are any devices that you want to unsync from a scene, then that's really simple to do. I'll show you here using the lighting towers. Simply click there and you'll see the lights go off, and then if you want to add them back into the scene, click again, and as you can see, the lighting starts again. Just to note at this point that IQ4 will work with the vast majority of Corsair peripherals, but there's a full list of compatible devices along with some of the older ones with which it won't work listed on their website. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna show you is how to add sensors, which is a handy feature to have. So if you can see here where it says sensors, you simply click on the plus sign here and it will bring up a list of all the devices of which you can monitor. So if we pop down here on the liquid cooler, and click to monitor the temperature. Then let's take a look at the fans, add all of the fans in there, click add, and then all of the information that you've chosen to monitor will sit here on the left, really clear and easy to see. Then if you want to create a whole new profile, you can do, and that's great for setting up custom options, for example, when you load your favorite game. The first thing to note here though, is that when you're working with profiles, make sure you've turned off scenes, as these will override any customized lighting, and you simply do that, by making sure that the tick has gone there. Then to create a new profile, you just click on the drop down here at the top, press the plus button, and then here it will give you the option to create a new profile. We'll call it profile one. I'll choose, uh, you can either choose a customized color or we'll put a picture in that we added earlier. Click that in there. And then you can add a background image or video again. Let's add that image in there and then you can link it to an app. So what I'll do here is I'll link it to this app here, and that should give us the option for this profile to boot up when we open that program. So we've got our custom profile here that I've made, and then you'd assign your custom lighting, and then your keyboard and mouse preferences. Now there's one that we made a little bit earlier that you might be able to see here for Minecraft. I've set that so that all the lighting is synced to green. So let's open up Minecraft and hopefully we can show you that that will work. There you go, all the lights instantaneously sync to green, so that one works. If we close down Minecraft and go back to the default profile here, then I'll show you how you can individually change all of these devices. 
Again, you need to make sure that you don't have any of your scenes selected because that will override this. But let's take a look at the lighting towers and we'll assign an individual colour to these. They're currently blue. Let's do a nice static colour. It will bring up this here and then you get your colour wheel. So you can choose all sorts of different colours. Let's go for a nice vibrant pink. And then all we do is close that back. And then again, if you want to change any of the others, you can do in there. As an example, you might want all of your peripherals one colour and all of your components another. So all you need to do is change each of them accordingly. But if you want to override this again, just switch back on your scenes as we showed you at the very beginning. So if you're a new user of IQ software, or maybe you've been using it for a while but want to get to grips with all the new updates, as I said, Corsair have made some tutorials to walk you through everything you could possibly need to know. And there's a help section as well to help you set up your devices. We hope that you found this video helpful too. You can get hold of all the Corsair products that we've mentioned in this video at scan.co.uk.